All right, what's up everybody? So, today we're gonna talk about medicine and pharmacies and what can you get there and how much does it cost? And it's awesome. I'm just gonna jump right into it. It is light years. I mean, it's lifetimes ahead of America in this department. You know, uh, a box of 40 milligram Nexum, which you can't even get 40 milligram Nexum in America unless you get a prescription. So a box of 28, 48, 40 milligram Nexum is, let me do the thing. I wanna have exact conversions for when the, uh, the haters come about. $16 for 16 bucks. 28 40 milligram Nexium pills. If you have high blood pressure, blood pressure medicine for like uh, 28 pills for like a month supply is anywhere from a dollar to five dollars. <laughs> right? You're probably like, no way right now. Uh, amoxicillin is like a hundred, uh, four dollars to eight dollars. I mean, everything is so much cheaper and you can get anything you want right there walk right in and go i need this and they have it and it's delivered to you like i'm sure many of you guys know this i have gout i've talked about it before uh and i don't have gout from drinking even though i do drink a lot i have it from just high levels of uric acid naturally in my body um and yeah like eating pizza and shit like that when i was eating bad foods all the time uh with stuff high and purine count really exponentially made it worse <laughs> so but anyways, there's like a medicine for a, an acute attack. So like when you start to have like a flare up, maybe you ate something or I had too many beers that night and it starts to flare up on the gout. That medicine for like, I want to say 20 of them in America was $300. And here 20 is 180K. So like $7. I mean, crazy, right? And, and you, know, you don't have to worry about the quality. Most of them aren't coming from China. They're coming from Germany, stuff like that. that in fact, almost none of the medicine I've gotten comes from China. Uh, a lot of it comes from Vietnam. A lot of it comes from Germany, uh, Europe, you know, those areas over there, Swiss, a lot of stuff like that. But you have complete and total access to any kind of medicine you want. Uh, it's it's really awesome it for me it's great like you know all I take is Nexium because I have a high anal hernia I've had it since I've been like 14 years old it's it's hereditary my dad has a high anal hernia too so the flap that releases acid is always open for me so if I don't take Nexium even if I don't eat anything if I didn't eat anything for three days and just drank water there's still just going to be that natural flow of acid that comes up. So Nexium uh, pH balances the stomach essentially so that acid gets neutralized so you don't feel heartburn. But that's just something I've always dealt with since I've been a kid. And the high anal surgery doesn't work. It's stupid. They like tie it up and it, it, I'm not going to go into like medical detail on what the surgery is, but it, it doesn't have a high success rate. It costs a lot and it's just not worth it. So the other thing here too is uh, health insurance is really affordable. I've done a health insurance video, but I'm gonna tack it into this one too because I'm in the process of buying mine right now. We're getting the, the platinum package. So like the highest up package, including teeth and everything. It's like, uh, it's the second to highest package. It's uh, 12 million per year. So let me give you the exact price on that. That's $519. And that would be for Vietnam only. That's not an international insurance. International insurance starts anywhere from uh, 1,000 to 3,000, depending on what package you get. Uh, I'm gonna be here for the next two years. and I'm not gonna go travel where I might get possibly stuck somewhere. So I'll be here for sure for the next two years. So for me, that package works just fine. Uh, when I'm able to travel again and do like full-time world traveling YouTube stuff again, I will have a uh, international traveler's health insurance. I've been way too many years without health insurance and it's time that I get it. And like a lot of people have said in the videos, you buy it before you have a problem, dude. Yeah, I'm well aware of how health insurance works. I'm not retarded. 
So, oh shit, that was the R word. I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not, uh, <laughs> that word isn't cancel culture here, so we're good to go, but you know what I mean. I'm not, I'm not dumb. I know how health insurance works. Uh, it would be the same as like with car insurance. So, they also have a delivery service for the medicine. So like, if you don't even wanna to go to a pharmacy, you can use a service like, hold on. Let me get you the exact name. No, oh, nobody said Zinchow or hello. We must be in like a low pocket here. All right, I'm gonna get the exact information. Medigo, M-E-D-I-Go. And then it gets shipped by like a grab or a, a, a now. And this, uh, we've been using this a lot lately because they have pretty good prices on everything. Oh, there's another thing I take, Flucanazole, and that is for a uh, skin rash, for like a yeast skin rash I get from sweat where it sits on one part and then it forms like a rash that's pretty painful. So Flucanazole is like an oral uh, yeast. It's technically used for yeast infections in women, but it works really well for me. Uh, when I, I start to feel the rash coming up, I, I take a, like two or three of those guys and it pretty much knocks it dead in its tracks. I could use a topical, but it's not as strong. And you sweat so much here in Vietnam that flucanazole is really the, the way to go for that if you have uh, like yeast. It's, it's essentially like a fungus on the skin, I guess. Yeah, we're getting kind of down a weird gross path, but it is what it is. So lately we've been ordering from that Medigo it's instantaneously. Uh, we put the order in. I need, uh, you know, a box of Nexium, get some Flucanazole. Uh, I, I often, uh, sometimes I pick up anti uh, shits medicine too, in case we're going to travel. Because if you have that medicine on you, the anti shits medicine, and here you just tell them, you know, diarrhea medicine, they give you like this whole thing for like a three day thing. So if you do start yourself, feel yourself getting food sick from something like immediately and if you take this early enough it can prevent it all you won't have any issue whatsoever you'll be able to literally go right on as long as you know how to catch it right away you're good to go so anyways back to the ordering process we'll put the order through the lady will text confirm the order and 10 minutes later it can be at your house literally 15 minutes total absolutely insane very efficient that's something that the motorbikes allowed to be extremely streamlined here is that they have, there's so many of them and there's so many delivery guy drivers for, for their living that a lot of times you can order stuff like, for example, I haven't bought, but like I need speakers for, for my, my DJ equipment. Like, and we're gonna wait on that. Like once I have money saved up for that, they're like two or three million. But if I went to order them now, I could pick out a speaker store, pick out the speaker I want, and go, uh, I'll take that, and they'll deliver it, like within 15 minutes, they'll deliver it immediately. Second the money hits them, boom, they'll call a grab, and that shit's on the way to your door, man. It's really awesome, like, instant gratification here is, is really big, and it kind of goes with the culture, especially with the driving. There is no stopping here, that's why you see people go around on sidewalks and like, there is never really traffic jams here because the flow of traffic constantly keeps going. But it's very awesome the way they do the medicine. I applaud them, I love it. Uh, it's so much easier than America where you have to go through so much red tape because there's so many rules and regulations for everything because everybody has to cover everybody's ass or you might get sued. So it gets it gets old really quick. Oh, little guy's playing with his toy truck. Oh, they got an American bomb. That kid looks mixed, yep. There he is playing with his little toy. These two. <laughs> I can't get away from this crew of people <laughs> in every video. What are they trying to give out? Xin chào. Ciao. <laughs> they get so nervous to hand things out. It's so cute. I gotta remember like when it's younger, Chow M. I, I, it's just like I've said, I say Zin Chow, just, it's easy to say, it's a, a icebreaker, you know. I haven't studied any Vietnamese, so once I do, I'm sure all things will improve. And she got a weird body on her, huh? 
But yeah, I don't think I can think of anything else to add to the medicine video. And I'll be doing a checkup once I get the, the health insurance. So I'll let you know how that goes, like in comparison to like America. And I think there's copay, but it's really low on stuff because I got the top tier package. So I'll, I'll update you on all that when I finally go and do all that. And that's going to be soon. Uh, just waiting on a few other pieces of paperwork and then that'll happen. So thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one and peace out.